Hey, thanks for listening to my podcast. Check back every day to hear great stuff that you may have missed. All you do is keyword podcast. Plus, stay connected with the show at kiss108.com, keyword Maddie. Hello, Nick. Welcome back. Hello. How you doing? I'm okay, Nick. Where are you? Down in Jersey? Where are you, buddy? You're talking to Boston. I know you're a busy guy and you don't probably know who you're talking to, but you're up. This is Kiss 108 in Boston, and how are you today? I am doing awesome, and I am actually in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. You know that the, uh, what's the name of that hotel? The Mayflower. Mayflower. Don't go there. <laughs> don't go to the Mayflower Hotel. There's nothing. It's just... Don't go to the Mayflower Hotel? No, don't go to the Mayflower Hotel. Okay. Uh, you're... Yeah, we're, we're not there. We're not at the Mayflower Hotel. <laughs> yeah, because they have, there's trouble brewing there. Yeah. A lot of cameras around. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we t we, what's the last time? When did we talk before? We talked not so long ago, Nick. Uh, but anyway, welcome back. You're coming up to Boston. What's the date that you're here? It's pretty soon. Um, it's what is um, Next week. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. What, what day is it? The 20th. The 20th. You're up here. Okay, the 20th. We're up in Boston. Got yeah. It. What a whirlwind. Are you, how old are you now, Nick? I am 15. <laughs> You're only 15? Yes. Oh, oh man, you're getting... Wow. God. <laughs> God. And do you send mo money home? <laughs> Excuse me? Do you send money home to Mr. and Mrs. Jonas? Yes. Well, Mom's out in the road right now, so... You know, she's making sure everything's that uh, we call the CBO, Chief Birthing Officer. Oh man, is that a problem? If you want to sneak young girls up to the room to have to sneak my uh, mom? No, well, that, well, you know, she, she's uh, she's awesome. She um, she's very cool about it, but we won't be doing that anyway. So of no. course not. Of course not. Absolutely. Of course not. So um, so you grew up in New Jersey, and. Um, did you, uh, there's a story, I, you, know the, on the, you know how the internet is, Nick, you know the, these stories pop up, you don't know if they're real. There's a story that you were discovered at a barber shop when you were six. Is that a made-up story or is that true? Well, actually, the story is that I was at a hair salon with my mom and we were, um, you know, getting our hair cut. And basically what happened was I started singing while she was getting her hair cut and someone heard me singing and, and uh, they said I should go see this manager. So I went to go see the manager. Um, about a year later, I had my first audition and I got my first Broadway show and I started doing Broadway shows for about four years. And then it kind of all rolled out of that. So the story is true and it's, uh, it's a crazy one. <laughs> I gotta have my. I got four kids. I'm gonna have them start singing beauty parlors everywhere. A man, the manicure place. Maybe one of those Korean girls could nice. sing them up. So you're literally singing, like a like a, with all due respect, like an annoying kid would start singing in the middle of a and got discovered. That's amazing to me. That's fantastic. It was, it was pretty crazy because yeah. um, what I would do is I I, I would have the owner really liked it when I sang, so he would bring a hat around and have people give me money, and I got like fifteen bucks one time. When you're six so years awesome. old, that's a lot of money. Yeah. I know, and there was like a there was like a, a candy store right down the street that I just went in like and just, I mean, it was crazy. I got so much stuff. Wow, fifteen dollars when you're six years old at a candy store, man. That's that's it was, it was pretty awesome. I gotta admit. Now you went. Now you started working on Broadway. Or yes, I did. I did four Broadway shows, and uh, during the during the time I was doing my third, I recorded a song, and uh, someone heard it at um, Sony Records, wanted to sign me, and uh, I started working on a solo project, and out of that, it became a group project because so, I wrote a song with my brothers for it. So basically, here's what happened: you were the kid with talent. <laughs> your two older brothers who were just kind of laying about the house. It was your mom or your dad or somebody said, let your brothers come out with you. When in fact, Nick, this whole thing could have been yours. You could have had so much more candy if you didn't, well, if you didn't actually, drag Joe, Joe and, was, Joe and this Kevin. This is the part. Joe was doing Broadway at the same time I was. So that was crazy. And then Kevin was also um, doing like commercials and acting and all that. So it was kind of funny how it all kind of came together. Kind of a family, is One day we might want to be in a band. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, we're doing it now and that it all came together like it did is just a really cool thing. Now, and you're much stronger as a group, so that's cool. That's just that's like the Osmonds. Yeah, <laughs> you are like the Osmonds. Yeah, that's just amazing. And now, like, we get, you have no idea how annoying your fans can be to a radio guy because we get emails from your fans 
every single day, even if you're not appearing in Boston. How do I meet them? I need to see them. I'll die if I don't. All these, your fans seem to be near death. It's really very sad. Yeah. They'll say, I'm it's going, amazing. I'm going to die. Amazing. I, yeah, they actually say those words. I'm going to yeah. die if I don't meet Nick. I'm going to hold my breath till I turn blue if you don't let me meet Nick. Wow, that's crazy. What do you do? You, you can't possibly respond to all the emails you get. Some, you wouldn't. Um, you know, it's really cool all the, the messages we get on MySpace and um, and things like that. You know, it's it's a little difficult to respond to every message. You know, now and that's a little hard part. Is people are like, "Why don't you ever respond to my message?" And it's like, "We're trying." So you know, um, oh, they'll turn it. These was a little easier whenever we could just respond to. to four comments that we got because nobody really cares that much. Let me tell you when it's, you know, it's, you know, so many people coming every day, it's kind of difficult, but we're trying our best to uh, respond to everyone. I got to tell you something, Nick. These nine-year-old girls will turn on you. <laughs> One minute they're your fan, the next minute they'll come stalk you and kill you. you gotta wow, be that's, that's a crazy uh, yeah. thought. So you toured with Miley Cyrus. Yes. How, how was she? Now, she, uh, this past, uh, when was it, I guess, when was her big tour? The end of the end of fall, around the holidays? Yeah. yeah. Um, the biggest tour in the country at that time. Was she tough? Tell us the truth. Was okay. she a little attitude, a little diva? Who, Miley? Yeah. Actually, no, I think, I think um, you know, she's a really awesome girl. And um, she uh, has a really great attitude about the whole thing. And she's really down to earth. And her whole family is really cool. So. God, I hate hearing these stories. <laughs> you really, we really hate hearing these stories. We want scandal. We want scandal. But there's not going to be one. Because you know what the truth is? And I'm, well, you know, we're, we're uh, teasing you, Nick, a little bit. The truth is that this is just a really nice group of boys. Isn't there a fourth brother who is working with you a little bit? The little one or something? There is. Um, Frank, J Frankie Jonas is his name. And he's seven years old and he basically runs the show. So, so you bring awesome. little Frankie out there? Yeah. Um, you know, I think one day we're going to get him up there and, and have him start playing with us. It's just he's not really into the idea just yet. Yeah. But soon we'll get him there. Be careful, because that's what happened with the Jackson 5. They let Michael start oh. singing with the band, and the next thing you know, <laughs> yeah, he took over. All the other guys were out of work. Watch Frankie. <laughs> All right. Listen, you sound like a really good kid, Nick, and I'm really uh, happy for your success. And you will, uh, well, you'll be here in our area next week. Maybe you could stick your head in and say hi. Wow. Yes, sir. That'd be awesome. All right, buddy. Take care, Nick. Thanks, sir.